Welcome back. So, it's been a while since I last put a video up. When I last put a video up, I was just about to begin my next steps of becoming a teacher. So, I was just finishing up my last job. I was a customer service assistant. Um, and now I'm doing a PGDE. Um, so that is basically teacher training in Scotland, finishing up in about June. So I started in August, about the 16th of August, I think it was. And I moved up to Aberdeen on the 8th, I think, something like that. So I've been here for, it's now Wednesday the uh, 15th of September. September. I've got my little autumnal motivational posters up just to set the scene um, for autumn. So yeah, so I've been on the course for about a month now and it's been good. Um, it is now week five of the course. So essentially it's a 36 week course. You do about 16 weeks of in-school experience. So eight weeks per semester. I think that's that's how it works out. And the remaining time is teaching time from the university. First three weeks were introduced in the Scottish curriculum. So all of the subjects, you know, maths, literacy, science, um, social studies, what else is there? IT, well, technologies. It's all a bit different because I'm obviously from England. So our curriculum when I was growing up is different from this one. We have Scots and Doric, for instance, as one of the subjects, which is crazy. Um, it's basically just the, the curriculum for excellence here in Scotland is very, it's very flexible and it's meant to be designed so that pupils really get an understanding of their culture um, in Scotland with a place for whichever culture you come from using the Scottish curriculum. Um, so it was probably about four lectures a day um, so and sort of key content so for instance learning about autism um, learning about oh gosh I don't know I can't remember what else um, but yeah things like literacy and maths we had um, lectures on about three times so it, it's quite varied just making sure that basically everyone's up to speed and everyone knows the the curriculum the expectations and uh, the content that we'll be teaching. I my la my undergrad degree was um, philosophy and ancient history um, at the University of St Andrews, so it's quite a big difference. Um, I feel like it has set me up really well for this. Just you know, doing philosophy. I also did some psychology at on my, during my undergrad, so that's quite. They're both quite academic subjects. Um, you know, quite traditional, artsy, um, lots of reading and thinking uh, and writing subjects. So this is very different, Different, it's practical. Um, what I found really interesting about the first three weeks is it's really come across that we are being taught to be active practitioners. So we're not sort of teachers that teach a set piece of work, a set lecture um, lesson plan. We are active practitioners who create lesson plans from a set of guidelines and we look at the guidelines and say the E's and, the, the e's and O's for each subject. We look at the E's and O's and we say I want to hit um, these two E's and O's, so experience and, experiences and outcomes um, and I'm going to build my lesson around it. This allows you to track progression across um, across the children and from where you want to go. So, for instance, if you're teaching young kids, you might want to look at the ease nodes for literacy and say, I want to teach them how to use different types of texts so that when they are a bit older, they can then use different types of texts to convey certain meanings. So it's like a, a progression along as they get a bit older. So it's been really interesting. Um, the fourth week, so last week, was an online learning week. Um, so that was, we had to complete five modules, one per day, and they were 
nice and easily easy with sort of some reading and to answer some, some questions and upload them um, so other people can have a look. Um, for instance, one was about curriculum, another one was on lifelong learning, um, so how you'd be an active practitioner and have career development, sort of professional development as you go throughout your career. Virtual Practicium Week, the VP Week. Um, so I've got this, this is the first week out of three weeks, and this is designed to give you practical st practical skills ahead of school experience. So school experience is about mid-October. It depends whether you're in Aberdeen um, or Aberdeenshire. So it depends where you get placed. Um, but at the moment we're being taught, for instance, this week we've learned about observation, so being observed um, and also observing. So when we go into schools, I think we'll be doing about like a lesson a day at first, something like that. Um, and building up a, a lot of observation of your teachers and other teachers and how the school runs and sort of what to look out for and not to be judgmental. Um, how to use it in a constructive way. So, and today it was on oracy. No, yesterday was on oracy, so learning how to uh, speak to convey ideas um, rather than just sort of speaking for the sake of speaking, you're trying to convey an idea and you build your ideas on, on top of your uh, peers, There's that sort of thing, debate. Um, and today we are planning our first lesson. Um, so this is just a task, we haven't covered like lesson planning yet, um, but we are to, in a small group of four, plan a lesson for a class and we can plan it on anything. Um, which is the cool part about the Scottish curriculum is that it's flexible to the um, environment, the culture and to the pupils and to the teacher. So we are asked to plan a lesson for this specific class where there are uh, children with English as an additional language, an autistic child and children that have very varied um, needs and abilities. So it's really interesting. Um, so that's where we are at the moment. Um, it's been a crazy five weeks so far. There's been a lot to do. Um, every lecture so far pretty much has had pre-engagement and post-engagement. So that means you've got to prepare for it and then sort of reflect and do a task after the lecture. So there's lots to do. I haven't done all of it. Um, crazy. The first three weeks, there's just so much to do. Um, and there's also an assessment coming up as well. We've got to make a presentation. We're not giving a presentation, we've just got to make a presentation. So that'd be interesting. <laughs> um, so there's a lot to do at the moment and it, it is very full on. It does feel like a full-time job. Even sort of doing the things I like, like going to the gym can be quite a stretch sometimes. Um, you know, I like to have my routine and my discipline, but sometimes I can overdo it. I can be like, I'm going to the gym five or six times a week, five or six times a week. Um, and that's just too much given the amount of work that I've got to do and I can't fit it all in. So it's a challenge um, so far, but it's it's a good challenge and I'm really enjoying it. Um, in the next few weeks, we'll find out about placement. So where we'll be placed. The university has about 700 students to put on a placement. So... And they don't actually place their students in a local school. Um, they basically put it, every university that, that does a PGD uh, programme in Scotland, every person that will be getting on a placement puts into this general system, the central system, and then they dish out the placements um, sort of top down. So I don't know where I'm going to be placed. <laughs> don't know which school. Um, and I hope I'm in Aberdeen City. So. I'm hoping it will be in Aberdeen City. Um, although they did warn before I even had the interview, you may be expected to travel up to an hour and a half from where you stay to go to your placement school. So here's hoping that I get one in Aberdeen. Um, there are quite a few primary schools here, so we'll see what happens. And I've got the VP weeks for the next two weeks um, and the rest of this week. Then I've got a a reading week where I'll finally get to do my assessment, leaving it to the last minute, um, of course, and then I'll have my school experience for three weeks and then that's the end of 
the first term. So I'm really excited, I just want to get into it. Um, when you're learning online so much and you're learning about the curriculum and how to do things, it feels quite detached sometimes from actual school experience. Um, like if I go for a walk, for instance, and I walk past a nursery or a primary school or even a sixth form and I see kids, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be teaching kids like you. Because um, it feels so detached when I'm literally just staring at my laptop all day to seeing a child. I'm like, that's where I'm going to be at is, you know, engaging with children and trying to facilitate learning. So I'm really excited. And sometimes when there's so much work to do, um in such a short turnaround as well like for instance this week you're expected to have done all of the reading for that set day for the next day so everyone's up to date everyone's on the same page so you've got to do it that day there's no time wasting you can't leave things to the last minute which is great for routine i love routine discipline it's my thing at the moment um so it's good but it is intense um and sometimes I just want to have a week off. Um, but yeah, when you're just on your laptop all day reading and writing, you can almost feel like detached from the reality that you're learning to be a teacher. I do think that this route is fantastic. Comparing the routes in England, maybe I'll cover that in a separate video. I think maybe I'll cover that in a separate video. I need to look into the Scottish, um, the English curriculum more because I've now been, I've dove in, dove in, dived in <laughs> English literacy. I need to get that up to scratch. I've got some textbooks. Um, yeah, <laughs> um, I've I'm now fully immersed in the world of the Scottish curriculum. So it's it feels a million miles away from the English curriculum and everything that it's about. Wit and I really, I really like it and I really respect this curriculum and it makes me feel like I have a lot of responsibility um, and that I am an active practitioner rather than just a teacher. I feel like there's sometimes a stigma around the word teacher, um, I do, um, especially around primary school teachers. I feel like there's definite stigma that it's quite a lazy and an easy thing to do. But it definitely doesn't feel like that up here. It feels like a, um, it feels like I'm a practitioner and that's really exciting. Um, I'm being trained and I'm getting skills and it is an expectation. This is a lifelong um, learning um, development. So I'm trying to just get into schools now. Um, I'm thinking about going home for a week or so before, to be honest, just to get some more clothes because Whenever you go to university, you always pack way too many clothes. You've got nowhere to put them all. And then you're like, and you only, only wear like the same three things. But the thing is, is that now my wardrobe is very different from how it was when I first went and did my undergrad. Because I'd wear um, skirts and cute t-shirts and shirts all the time. I now just, this is what I wear. Gym stuff which is great um, and and I basically just prep, uh, um, took all my gym clothes and some teachery things so long dresses and long skirts but I don't have anything else so for instance if I had to go on a night out I know teachers go on nights out sometimes every now and then I don't have anything to wear <laughs> so and I left some jackets at home sort of professional jackets so I think I'm going to take a trip home, see the dogs, see the nephew, see the fam bam and pick up all of my clothes. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm going to leave this here as this has gone on a bit of time for a while. So that's my PGDE journey so far as of 15th of September. Um, I'm sure I'll be making more updates. I'll be really interested to look back in a few weeks at where I am now. Um, and for anyone else that's interested in doing the PGCE or DE or teach training in Scotland or England, um, just a taster of what the first few weeks might be like. Um, and yeah, so if anyone has any questions, feel free to put them down below um, and I'll have a look. And I will be making more videos on the PGDE 
Um, also just what I'm doing in life, <laughs> you know, um, I'm going to the gym, I've got another video I'm going to make about that. Um, topics, I like talking about uh, lots of different things, so I'm excited to get some more videos out. Um, whenever I get a break from my screen, I'm going to be looking at this screen, recording and then editing on this screen, uploading and then getting back to my screen. Um, <laughs> a lot of screen time at the moment um as you can probably tell i'm not i'm not sleeping all that well i think just i'm staring at screens all day long um so anyway i'm gonna leave that one here i'm rambling i'll catch up later and again yeah feel free to comment leave me questions and subscribe because i'm gonna be posting more <laughs>